As we have now created our WordPress headless theme for Gatsby, now it's time for us to get into the plugins in WordPress. And these plugins are going to be the WP REST API plugins that we are going to use to fetch few data and post types. So I have created some plugins already. And these plugins are the WP REST API and the WP REST Favicon. So we're going to install these two plugins so that we can use GraphQL in Gatsby to fetch the Favicon and logo within WordPress. To get this, you need to follow this URL because I have created this plugin so you won't be able to get it off the internet. So you need to go to that URL and download these plugins. When the plugins are downloaded, unzip the plugin, copy the plugin files, come back to your flywheel and then open the folder, your directory, open it, apps, public, WP content, plugins, and paste in there. So now that you've pasted this there, go back to your WordPress, plugins, and you've got them here. So let's activate them. Okay, now we need to install a few other plugins. The first plugin that we are going to install now is going to be the advanced custom fields. fields. So we look for advanced custom fields and then we install this one. Now we activate it. We go back to it. And now we need to look for another plugin. And this time we're looking for admin menu editor. And then we'll install it. We will activate it. Okay, we'll add one more plugin, which is the WP REST API menu. So we'll just search for that. WP REST API menu V2. We can select, okay, we activate it. Now we have installed our REST API menu, our REST API logo, our REST API favicon, and the advanced custom fields. And then we have also installed the menu. Now there's one more we need to install, which is the advanced custom field API itself. So that Gatsby can actually fetch the advanced custom fields that we have also, we also going to have. So we'll just go add another one to advanced custom fields to rest advanced custom fields. Okay. And we'll just select the first one. And then we'll activate it. So now we have installed our REST API menu, our REST API logo, our REST API favicon, our advanced custom fields, our admin menu editor, and our advanced custom fields REST API. Now let's go ahead and create a custom post type. And this time we're going to call it portfolio. So we'll come to our fly flywheel and click on our files. We fetch where the file is public and then themes in here we want to open this with our code editor so as you remember we'll say cmd open cmd and then cd space come there drag it there and there enter then types code dot and this is going to open it for you now, I'll just make this bigger. In functions, we're going to write our function in here. And the function that we're going to write is going to be the one that creates all our post types for us. And this time, we'll only need one post type. So what we'll do is we'll say add theme support and in there we'll then put the custom plugin that I've created the custom logo so we'll say custom dash logo and then we'll copy this paste it twice and then in here we'll change that to menus and this one will be 
whole thumbnails. Now let's create our function. So to do the function, we'll say function and we create our post type. So we'll say create custom and then we'll call it a name. So we'll say portfolio post type and then we'll open our quality bracket and in our quality bracket we put a register so we'll say register underscore post underscore type and in there we will then say i want it to be a portfolio and then we'll say an array and in the array we'll say label and the labels are going to be an array so we'll say array and in there we're now going to write our labels names so the first one is going to be name and the second one is going to be singular name So now that we have this, now we need to declare them. So it's going to be that in bracket. We need to now say portfolio. I'll just copy that, paste it there, and then up here I'll just do that, and then I'll do that. Now that we have declared our names, now we'll just press enter. And then close the array. Now let's declare a few things. We want it to be public, so we'll say public. We want it to show in the admin bar, so we'll say show underscore in underscore admin underscore bar. Okay. Then we'll want it to show in the REST API so that we can use GraphQL to fetch the post type. So we'll say show underscore in underscore rest. Okay. Now we need to now put them all as true. So we'll say true. And I'll just copy that and paste to all of them. Okay. So now that we have that, now we come out of here and then close that. Okay. Now we need to do one more thing. Well, two more things. The first thing is we need to add a thumbnail and a shirt. A thumbnail is basically, you know, representing this page as an image. So they will show an image in it. We'll be able to upload each portfolio an image. And then we'll be able to add an excerpt. So a sentence which people can see before they see the actual portfolio. So to add this, we'll say add underscore post underscore type underscore we'll say support and in the support we're going to call the portfolio so we'll say portfolio and when we call the portfolio we're going to now create an array of things that we want it to have so we'll say an array and in the array we want it to have first the thumbnail so it's going to be thumb nail and then we want it to have the set so we'll say e sorry set and then that's that so we'll close this so just to recap we've added the thumbnail we've added the set we've said we want this to show in the public we want it to show in the admin bar we want it to show in the REST API. We want the name to be portfolio. We want the singular name to be also portfolio. And we want you to register all of this. Now, outside the, outside the function, we're going to now make an action so that it can actually work. So we'll say add action. And then in there, we're going to now in it and out of there, we're going to call our function and this is our function so we'll copy this ok 
okay and out of it we'll close this so we've called our action we call the init we've called this so now we just need to put that in the quotation okay so it looks better so everything seems to be okay here so i'll just save this okay now let's add a, a template as well while we're here so we'll just create a new template and we call it portfolio dot php okay in here we're now going to open our php and then we're going to close our php and in here we're going to now put a comment and this comment will take the the name of our portfolio so it will be template name and it will be portfolio okay and then it will be sorry author let's just put a lowercase author and that will be me i'm in Okay, and out of there we'll close the comment okay so this basically this template name wordpress will pick it up so that when we select in a template it will show us this is the template so you can select the template name so we'll save all of this make sure everything is okay here and then now we're gonna run into our wordpress and see if everything is actually working so we'll refresh yes so we have a portfolio already so we've created our portfolio post type so we'll just click on it and you can see that it gives us space here we can add a new portfolio okay so we'll just this is an editor the new wordpress editor so we'll just ignore that so we can put our data here we will come here and then you can see that there's a feature image there's an excerpt, excerpt as i told you before and then you can put some details of the blocks and stuff like that so we have created this post type 